Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome to Resident Evil 2. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to be doing something called, the, what I'm going to call, the Everyman's Guide. I am not a speedrunner. I am not somebody who plays this professionally. I'm just a normal guy who plays Resident Evil 2. I all, I beat Resident Evil 7 into the ground, uh, but Resident Evil 2 I, I ended up beating into the ground. Partly because I take really good notes of where I screw up. And because of those notes, I was able to get S plus rank. So if you're here, uh, you're probably wanting to unlock a few things. Maybe including the fact that I might title it as being get your infinite ammo unlocks. You're going to want those things. So uh, as we get started, just to show you guys that, that my timing for just being a normal guy with notes that can, you know, share this with you. I'm going to get about the same times. Um... My results for doing it on hardcore, an hour, 55 minutes. We'll probably do it around two hours. Um, we have two hours and 30 minutes to play with. So if you need to go a little slower, uh, that's fine. Just remember, if you die and you have to reload the game, do not hit retry. You're going to want to hit quit and then load the game if it's toward a save or hit new game. Otherwise, the counter keeps going toward your time. All that time you spent right before you died. So if you're 20 minutes into the game and then you hit retry, it starts you off at the beginning of the game again, just 20 minutes on the counter. So that's kind of screwed up. So what are we going to be unlocking by doing Leon hardcore, Leon's main story? Well, one, just in case you want to be able to, you know, get S plus across the board like this, I'm going to be doing one for each one of the scenarios here. So Leon, Claire, Leon second, Claire second. Don't worry about it. They're all going to be covered. But... If this is your first one, well, you're going to be unlocking quite a few things by doing this. First, by just beating S on standard, uh, you get the Samurai Edge handgun unlimited ammo. That's fun. Um, by being S hardcore, and this is not S plus, S hardcore, you get the submachine gun infinite ammo. That's kind of cool too. S plus is a twist. You've you got to beat it in the time limit of S. You cannot use infinite weapons. And you can only save it three times. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people will use the infinite knife because the infinite knife apparently got under the radar. But Capcom looks like they're fixing it. Even if they don't fix it, I'm going to assume that you did not go out and kill all 15 Mr. Raccoon dolls to be able to get that infinite knife. Just so you could start your S plus runs. You're just a normal guy who's played the game quite a few times and you know your way around. And you want to be able to get some of these cool nifty things to blow things up with. So... We're going to start a new game here. We're going to go on, play it on hardcore. I'm going to skip cutscenes because I'm going to assume again, again, an assumption. You need to have played this game. You need to know it well enough um, to not really have to check the map all that much. And um, more or less what I'm doing is showing you probably the best route to ensure that you will just go ahead and beat it uh, with 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 your steez intact your style and ease going on getting it done um so all starts in here with one of the most claustrophobic encounters that is really easy to avoid really really easy to avoid on a live stream i believe i did this where i accidentally avoided it i ran i always run for the key because he's getting up but if you stay at the end of the hallway he just shambles off to the right, and it takes him a second to turn around. No kneecaps involved, no anything else. You can just, you can just wait till he's. You saw how long I had to wait, so make sure you wait. But he just shambles off. He, he's doing his thing. Don't you don't have to confront him. If he does charge you down that hallway, force him to chase you. He'll do the double lunge thing where he's uh, lunging at you once and then he lunges again. Um, there's just enough hallway to miss his second lunge, and then you can just run by his right side. If he ends up accidentally coming down the hallway. Which has happened to me twice out of all the times I've played this, so that's fine. So, let's pay attention to the way that we get to the RPD here. Um, we're doing it quickly, but we're gonna stick by walls and whatnot. Um, a few disclaimers. I'm going to be stockpiling on things as if you're playing and you're unsure of exactly what's going on. Because you might be really unsure. You might need to watch the video, you might need to pause it. 
Again, a good reason to subscribe and like it. Maybe bookmark it and put it in your watch later list so you can get back to it as you're doing it. Um, because you guys need to watch things. Left for here. Hug the right side for the cop car. Go in between the guy getting up and the guy eating. There's another beeline you can take, but it's going to cost you. You take that beeline, you might get bitten. Unless you're, like, perfect. And I am playing this on PS4, so I have a controller. It's not like I've got a really, really sensitive mouse that is, like, helping me out so much and this and the other. No, I'm... I'm doing this on uh, PS4 Pro, um, so we've got no excuses here, guys. Um, tactics are all the same. Got handgun ammo by turning into this room on the left. We're gonna push this up, and we're gonna get a first aid over here. Now, when I bank a lot of stuff in the uh, big boxes that are inexplicably all linked, uh, pay attention to, to how much I'm actually putting up. Because many times I'm putting up exactly the amount of things needed to put up to be able to grab everything else along the way. And I mean exactly the number of things to put up to grab everything else. If I keep one thing out of the box that I... Especially the RPD. The RPD is the worst out of this. Honestly, the RPD is probably the hardest in all of this to get through just straight up. So, see where I am? Run right past him. If you stand too close to that door, stand near kind of the filing cabinet. Stand too close to that door, the door will knock you back and he'll grab you. Hug the right side. Both of these guys will miss you if you give them like a wide, you know, 45 degree or um, rather 90 degree turn like that. Uh, don't cut it too close of getting close to them. Uh, run more towards the wall and then bank, a, bank it left. So, we got the knife. We're doing okay. We're, we're, we're doing fine. We're cutting this box open. The gate animation plays no matter what you're doing. Might as well get this first aid over here. This is Grab this guy. How I imagine it. Grab the ink ribbon since we're going to have three saves under our belt. And we're putting everything up. The handgun and the ammo stays. Everything else gets put up. That herb will be coming back for him. Leave him alone for right now. We'll come back for him. Don't worry. So, coming on down this hallway, see that window right there? We're going to be boarding that one up later, too. And I'm going to knock this body down so it doesn't surprise me later. But we're not boarding it up yet. Just just remember that I'm going to be doing something very weird later that I'm going to be carrying around a board or that window. We come on in here. Let's get a little bit more ammo. We keep our pace up. Grab, I guess you can grab the map. If maps are really your thing. Um, if you get ever backwards or whatnot, I guess it can help. Turn 180 degrees, get the ammo off the dead guy. All right. We're going to be coming through this hallway so many times to start off with that these guys all have to die. And I got a critical hit. Uh, one thing I need to explain is that it does not matter where you shoot two critical hits in a row. This game is feeling sorry for me. Big time right now. That's not normal. But still, we'll run with it. So, no matter where you shoot a zombie, it is the same amount of damage. Uh, tested, proven, is, is fine. By the way, the safe, safe combination is 9, 15, 7. If you think you need to go search for combinations, you're wrong. If you go to search for combinations, you'll never get the things in the safes or in the boxes or anything. Because it'll just take too long. Uh, Leon's desk over here in his first assignment is NED over here for the first letter of each of the desk over here. Their names. And over here is Marvin, Rita, and you don't know the first letter of the, the guy. He didn't put his name tag over there. I don't know why. But you can guess over and over until you find out it's a G. So, um, Anyway, a body shot, a leg shot, a head shot... They all do the same amount of damage. Here is the difference. Um, headshots, if they go critical, they explode the head and they're down permanently. Um, on hardcore, if you are trying to put a zombie down permanently, go for the head. If you're trying to get past a zombie, go for the legs. Not only does it stun them longer, um, give you a longer time to get past them, 
uh, it's more likely to stun them than a headshot in hardcore. So you saw I got the herb, I boarded up that window. I combined the herb with the one in the dark room here. I'm turning on the light so I get that sweet music of the dark room, of a safe room. And everything I've gotten so far, I'm putting back up again. That other locker has a, another uh, ink ribbon in it. We don't need to worry about that, but board up that window for sure. Now this cop, she's got ammo in her crotch. It's totally awesome. Go ahead and kill this guy. More guys that must die. Um, other side note. God damn it. Um, you can't use sub weapons on stairs. If a zombie gets you on the stairs, you're kind of in a bad position. It won't let you just pull out the knife and, you know, do the normal thing for some reason. Don't know why. Don't ask me. I didn't develop the game. What? What is he doing? Okay, the game had the game is having a lot of mercy on me. But trust me, even if you have to kill him outright with all good god, four four exploding heads. The game must know that I did this and then I failed when I realized my footage didn't work out and now after failing, um, there's an algorithm in the background that decides how many times you get headshots and how many times you get this, then the other. We're knocking the Magnum. So don't worry about that logger. It's got Magnum ammo in it. The combination is DCM. If you're dead set on getting the Magnum, you can go over there and get it. But it's not going to be part of this walkthrough. We don't need the Magnum to do this. We ain't need no stinking Magnum. Okay, so I grab the gunpowder. I grab the board. I grab this ammo. We're gonna shoot this guy at out of the rafters. So that when we have to deal with this again, it's like eight rounds that it takes for him to come down. When we have to deal with this again now, only a liquor will be in the room. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Now I'm taking the stairs here. Do not take the ladder. The second you ever touch the ladder, the other zombie that is feasting over there decides to wake up and start wearing some of this. You want to deal with the ones that are going to be in your way and get up no matter what you do. This is one of them. One of two. God, the game feels sorry for me right now, but you know what? Maybe it'll feel sorry for you too. Because, dear lord, it is it is taking pity upon me. We want to preemptively move the, these bookshelves. One for the ammo, second so the tyrant, it's not as hard to move it when we actually get the jack later on. So there's ammo right here. We got some more. And this bookshelf. Move it once to the left. Now, when we get the jack, there's only one movement... Very little chance that munching zombie or the tyrant will smack us while we're trying to get it done. Gunpowder here. It's free to get. The way I'm doing it. The map. There, there's your map. And the puzzle solving for right here is the fish, the scorpion, and the vase of perf perfume. As a... I, Perfume. I don't know what it is. It's a fragrant fra fragrance. Wow, English is eluding me. Don't grab the book. Did I say that loud enough? Don't grab the book. We're not getting the Magnum. Don't grab the book. But do go to the right and grab these rounds. They'll help you out. And they're nice. Don't grab the book. Key items. If you accidentally pick up a key item you don't need, it is in your inventory until you get to a box. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, he is Lion, um, uh, Olive Branch, and Eagle thing. Two out of three medallions done. Isn't that nice? So when Marvin calls us back, and he's all like, Claire be at the east part, bro. bro. Okay, I, I, whatever. I'm going to insert these here. Before I sound even dumber than I already am. So Elliot was right. Yes, Elliot was right. Yeah, but the passage isn't open yet. Use your spade key here. We need to be able to get rid of the spade key once we use it upstairs. And finally, 
I said leave the herb alone before. You can grab it now. It's cool. He's all coolio with you. It's good. It's all good. What are we gonna bank? Everything but the spade key. Get used to that. And definitely those knives, the reason I'm not keeping them, we cannot lose those two knives. We can't lose those two knives. So don't think about bringing those with you. Just, just start working on getting the RPD down to a science and, and don't use the knives. You need them later. So we've got this. The code for this over here is, uh, six, two, 11 is the muzzle break for the, um, for the Matilda. Um, since we're going to be relying on this for two thirds of the game, we might as well pimp it out. It's cool. And we're going to use the spade key one last time, which will now allow us to drop it, which is good because we are on limited inventory space. So now we're going to go grab this board because we're going to need a certain number of boards to make sure everything's perfect. And the weapons locker key card. Again, we don't need to deal with the arm in the book because we're not getting the magnum. We're going to run outside now. Helicopter crashes. Don't grab the green herb. We'll get it later. We'll get it later with a red herb at the same time. It'll be it'll be pretty cool. We'll have a we'll have a heal ready to go for us right there. Uh, Marvin? Here's another board. Got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. There are rounds. There are bolt cutters. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin. I this Damn game. It. I believe this game just took so much mercy on me that I'm going to have to end up dropping handgun rounds. Um. Whoa! I spoke too soon. Holy smokes! That doesn't happen. That cop doesn't come out and just sit there. Well, this is an everyman's guide, so I have an herb on me. I'm going to go ahead and use it right there. We're going to get this flashbang. We're going to get the the rounds that are on him. We're going to come over here and get the valve. We're going to get this. And if I hadn't used that herb, I I was right. I would have needed to have thrown away the... Um, I would have needed to throw away those extra five rounds. But I don't need to. I would have needed to throw away extra five rounds. I don't need to. It's cool. It's all right to screw up. I swear I'm going to lead you along a path where screwing up is okay. We're going to bank everything but one board. The valve. Um, good God, we have so much of that ammo. Uh, and the weapons locker key card. And I'm going to take out a green herb. Because I'm going to use it. And I'm going to be fine now. So... Two herbs used. Do you see me sweating? Nope. We don't need to. We don't need to worry about this. This part is a trifle bit difficult every now and then. We need to wait for this guy to fall through because there's going to be a liquor time for liquors, and we really need this window boarded up. Um, there's a guy to my left. As soon as I start rounding the corner, I need to leg shot him like crazy. I need him to stagger, and then there's another one. Fuck! He can appear anywhere in this hallway or around the corner. If he's around the corner, he can be in the most inconvenient spot and kill you immediately. Be aware of the, that, that second guy. That second guy really is a hassle. Uh, and, you, and the game stopped taking pity on me because... It did not stagger them very fast at all, did it? So we're going to take everything in here, which is cool. I've got enough board, so I don't need the board that's sitting in the corner over there. Uh, we don't need to worry about that board anymore. Um, we're going to come in here, and 109 will get you more handgun ammo. If you need it at this point, you, you've got it at your disposal right there. And we'll go ahead and grab it. I, I, I could use a... I could I could use a few rounds, I guess. Why not? And the weapons locker keycard. <clears throat> so we got the shotgun. We got the shotgun rounds. It's cool. 
So I'm particular about where things are placed many times, blah, blah, blah. Um, we are going to immediately go to our inventory box and get rid of everything but the items that we absolutely need. So um, those items would be this her this herb and that flashbang. We need the gadget and the valve. We're gonna get more um, shotgun rounds, don't worry, so. I put up the ones I've got. We'll get more in a second. As soon as we go into the locker room. Fun fact, uh, there is a hard mode in the original Resident Evil 2 that whatever locker you store stuff in is the only locker you can get stuff back out of. Which was the original intent of all the locker system systems. You were gonna have to do that. Uh, CAP for CAP, as in Capcom. To open this one up to get uh, shotgun rounds. And this one's got shotgun rounds. We're not going to worry about the portable safe or anything like that. That is not in the cards for us. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 the boxes were not going to all be linked. And that was going to be like part of the hard mode. And they scrapped that because they realized that that system was hard. Now walk on over here and get yourself some shotgun shells. And then run your ass off. The liquor will not catch up to you if you get into the star office fast enough. And you can combine that 9 volt with the detonator. Now you've got a detonator ready to go. And we're going to be collecting some stuff in here. One thing in particular is important. This flash. Don't miss it. Do not miss that flash. We're going to be using that flashbang. Um, the flash part? Not so much. Uh, the bang part? We need the bang. We need the bang and the flashbang. So... Um, walk your way on out. We're going to be walking our asses right past the liquor. Just don't let them touch you. They will start following the sound of footsteps near them, but slowly. So just hug the other wall. There's no, there's no rush. Don't, don't, just because they're coming near you does not mean that they're about to attack immediately. Um, don't get too scared of that because there's going to be other times that we're going to have to deal with that. Later in the game, I'm not going to show you the knife strategy where you can kill lickers. I'm going to make it into an easier strategy where you can just walk around them and you have to just not be scared of them. That's all. That's all there is to it. So, this detonator. Trick about it. The bookcase does not fall over if this door is open or you're out of the door. So, it doesn't open and that zombie doesn't come back alive. But you did kind of piss off a liquor by that one. Um, that liquor heard all of that commotion that you just made. And he's not too happy about it. So the solution for this one, I believe, is... Oh, gosh. Gr girl arrow and looking kind of like the worm thing. Yeah. The most burnt pieces. Flashbang. Throw it earlier than you think. He's gonna pop down, throw it like now. And walk. After it's used, walk. Flashbangs do work on liquors. They absolutely do. It the bang in the flashbang deafens them. If you run, they will know exactly where you are again and come after you. If you walk, you pretty much just reset the room, and you gave yourself a clear shot at getting out. Simple as that. So... We've now effectively cleared the RPD. I know that sounded like a lot of rambling on my part as we went through it talking. Um, there are parts where I'm, I'm trying to explain exactly why I'm going to the item box and doing things. But I want you to see that we're at a time right now of 19 minutes, 59 seconds. We're right at where we should be, uh, give or take five minutes. If you, I will say 25 minutes. You know what? 25 minutes. If you're at the 25 minute mark and you get here, you're cool. You're fine. It's good. Because we've got a little bit of time to spare. Um, anything over 25 minutes, Start the game over, get the get it out of your system, start start figuring out the route, how you're gonna play it, and get it down packed. Now, we've got some shotgun rounds over here to really quickly get. And you see how much it bothered me that I got hit 
um, and two herbs are gone. Um, no. The way I'm gonna lead you through this game, you're not gonna have to worry about herbs being gone like that because I'm gonna give you plenty of them. Don't worry. <sighs> we're gonna do our first save here because we're about to do some... We're gonna put on our big boy pants and use a big boy strategy against the first Birkin. So this is your first time to save it. Go ahead and save it. And then make sure you watch the next part before you do it yourself. I swear you need to see it once or twice. And then you can probably attack it yourself. Just, just trust me. If you've never knifed him to death, because I will be knifing him to death, you might need to see it uh, to, and know that you need to stick next to his right arm. So here we go. Save it here. This is your first one of your three saves. So now you got that save under your belt, you should feel a bit more confident about what you're about to do. Um, you've got a knife. You got two knives. That's why I said don't use up those knives. Also, those flashbangs. You need a flashbang at this point. That's why you can't just willy-nilly toss a lot of that stuff around. You need to learn how to get through that RPD pretty handily. Now go down all of the stairs. Go down all the stairs, grab the grenade. This might take me a, a try or two because I'm not even perfect at this, so... I hope I don't have to repeat myself too many times, but... At least I can start it over from the fight beginning to repeat the strategy, because I'm not going to start saying it now. I'll say it while I'm fighting. So... I can cut to here over and over until he's dead, if I have to cut it all. But... I've done it enough times, and if it's just a small screw-up, I'm not going to cut it out, because... Hell! What if you screwed up a small bit? I I don't know. It's everyone screws up a little bit. All right, here we go. When his eyeball comes out, back up and throw that grenade really fast. Keep knifing him. You might need to back up even more than that. So, if you saw what I did there, I stuck near his side. Um, where the eyeball is. I'm slashing at the eyeball, but I'm sticking near the right arm, trying to stay, stay behind him. I'm switching out knives because I honestly hope to keep both knives in some workable order. And I'm trying to steer- Oh no, he hit me! Like I said. Can't really call this an everyman's guide if I'm gonna get everything perfect. Got hit. Oh well. So, how are we gonna gimp our way through this one? Easily. Don't worry about it. We're gonna collect everything down here. Um, and when I say every now and then, uh, take a bad knife with you, just in case you feel worried about something, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Take that bad knife. The, the one that still can be a counterattack for you. But you really don't care if you have to drop it because other things come up. Um, I'm going to end up actually combining two green herbs together to heal him or wait for first aid. Let me let me see. I'm going to combine two green herbs together. We'll, we'll do it that way. That That's the way I'd like to do it. I get you get more green herbs in this game than you get red or blue, and I like the shield heal heals like I call them, um, which is you get a full heal out of it, and you get the shield, which makes you run barely faster, and definitely on hardcore protects you quite a bit. Um, so giving up a red herb arbitrarily for no reason when I could just combine two green right there, that's fine. Out of a normal run of mine, I've now used four herbs I usually don't use. Again. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. You'll 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 still make it just fine at this pace. So this is where we have to start. I have to look down at my win uh my my notes and whatnot because I even have notes for all of this, and my loadout for this is a little weird because I actually like finishing off 
the Matilda. I want the Matilda to actually be the best it can be while I'm doing this. So I'm going to end up having the Matilda, ammo for it, the shotgun, and ammo for that. So that's what we're going to go upstairs with. And I had to just check my notes to make sure uh, that that's exactly what we're doing. So we've got the Matilda, ammo for that, shotgun, and ammo for that. We're good to go. We're good to go. Let's do this. Um, we're going to be going not toward Ada first, only because we're not getting the diamond key. And that's going to be the reason why we're going to be able to grab the, um, car key. Yeah, dog attacks, Ada saves me, blah, blah, blah. Now she's at the right, hey, I'm banking the left. I'm not done talking to you. Since I'm not getting the diamond key, I don't need to worry about going towards the firing range and using the diamond key. Um... When the power is off, the zombies are idle. So you can come in here, grab this box. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Get the parking key, garage key thing, whatever is, that was called. And as long as you don't disturb these zomboids, they, they aren't gonna do anything to you, so... That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice of them. They're, they're pretty cool. Now we're gonna do a few more things. Uh, we're gonna before heading down to the left, which starts the the cluster of events that are a bit craze balls. We are going to go ahead and use that key. Examine the back of it. Boink boink. Yes, boink boink. It is, and we get the stock for the Matilda. If this were on normal, uh, normal difficulty, I would not get the stock for the Matilda. It takes up space, and it's not as needed as much. It's not really need. No, it's not needed as much. This will allow me to burst fire, um, so I can get those leg shots. Here's a map, just in case you really need them. Uh, I can get those leg shots in a lot easier, or the headshots in a lot faster if I need them, and I will need to fire faster. Take that guy's head off. I swear to you, he will be as much of a, nu a nuisance to you as he is to me, if you don't. So we're running. We run into Ben. He meets a terrible fate to the tyrant. Ada shows up. Bay leaves. Gotta go find Bay later. Um, we get the crank. Now we're actually gonna go take care of the dogs and whatnot. So in the way that I play this, we're going to only be leaving behind one item, um, and it's okay. It's a small gunpowder. Not a yellow special gunpowder, but a small gunpowder. Um, other than that, we'll get, we're going to be able to grab everything on our way, which is cool. Um, as we go through the parking garage here, banker right, and we're not going to pass up the purple herb. The blue herb, it's totally purple, but we'll, we'll call it blue. We're not gonna pass it up because we get a full shield heal out of this. Also, chemicals, right there, boom. Also, dogs, kill them! Shit! If you get a headshot on dogs, three headshots, and they're dead. If you only get one headshot, four shots to kill them. Like, I, like that. And if one of those shots count as critical, then it, you know, they drop. Otherwise, body shots for them, five. So since we're not getting the diamond key, these guys will not wake up. So we're getting the flashbang out of the furthest drawer uh, on the right-hand side. We, we want that flashbang. And we are getting the second drawer on your right. We are getting the red herb out of here. The diamond key would be need for, needed for the portable safe and other goodies that we're not going to be partaking of in this. Um, also, it would wake those guys up if we got the diamond key, and I don't want to deal with that. So, use the crank. And, oh, making sure that my my notes are mm, up to scratch, up to date. Mm -hmm. So, go down this little hallway. And you got yourself a full shield heal. 
It's nice. This gunpowder, we cannot take it. I'm not mixing it with the yellow. You'll understand later why. Um, there's um, uh, big stashes of gunpowder. And so I usually s grab enough normal gunpowder along the way that I'd rather mix it with the big stashes whenever possible. So I save it for later. I think it's the last two do it. Yes, the last two switches for this. We're killing dogs. We are not going to deal with their bullshit as we have to go through this area more than once. There's that dog. Since we killed the three in the kennels, there's not one chasing us in here. There's just that one. There's this one right here. Come with your shotgun armed. Armed and ready, because he is right here. And another one. Shotgun, armed and ready, because he's going to pop out right there. And now doing it that way, we have a clear shot, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing to stop us. No dog jumping us in this hallway. No, None of that crap that takes away all of that health. We don't have to deal with any of it. They're they're all gone. So we're all good to just run on up here. Now, we've got a n new loadout that I'm going to have to I'm looking down. We need to collect everything in the safe room. Um which I forgot we need to put things away first, which would include we're going to be taking with us. So what we're going to take with us is the Matilda ammo for it. Uh, the shotgun, ammo for that, the crank, a red and green herb, which sounds weird, and the fuse that's in this room, and two boards. So, um, that all sounds like it's convoluted, but we're leaving that stuff behind. We're grabbing everything that's in the lockers. Um, so another yellow, and more handgun rounds. Those are magnum rounds, we don't need them, and the fuse. We're immediately going to be putting back in the bank um, those two things. And we are going to get these two wooden boards. We only needed two, so that's all I got. You can put the first one up right here. That, zombie, that zombie's arm's in frame right now. He's going to start banging on that window. And get your shotgun ready for um, coming around the corner right here. As you're going to want to split that head. Put that head nice and cleanly for you, and then... Oh, crap. Well, didn't I screw that up? Well. I did screw that up, so... Hold on, hold on. He's still eating. Aw. While he's eating. That works best. There we go. We'll put him down this way. Because he's another one that needs to go down. Permanently. We can use this board here. And now we're deviating off of plan. I usually wouldn't get this knife. But guess what? We have to go back. And get a first aid spray. I'm not going to cut in and make it different because uh, one of the first aid sprays I banked really early on really is an extra. It really is. So that little mistake easily rectified. Oh, and shotgun rounds right here. I'm glad I actually came back right there. I got sh shotgun rounds. I would have missed those. So that knife, usually if I hadn't gotten hurt, I would have gotten the knife on the way back. I just got the knife now because I had to go back to get that first aid. Elliot, I'm really sorry, but you can't. Yeah, thank you, Elliot. Bank a left here. Otherwise, things will come through the window. We're going upstairs. So we're going to be going through the uh, door over here. 
with the crank. And now the crank is useless to us. This is where you have to make a decision on your own. Whether you're gonna want more uh, shield heals later on in the game, like I would, or if you want another uh, powder to ma make more shotgun shells. If you want the shotgun shells, uh, there is a board right upstairs from us. You grab that board, you go downstairs, you use it on the window, it's in the locker at the very end. You can go grab it now before the tyrant is going crazy and uh, it's a really easy grab. If you come back with the clover key and everything, everything gets convoluted. You can just grab that right now if you really want it. Instead, I am more concerned about, I can always, I can always get hit and get back up if I've got a heal on me. Um, and I'll figure out the ammo situation from just improvising if I have to, but usually ammo, the way we're running it now, being careful, is not an issue. I did not get a red green. So you don't get to see the fact that uh, usually I just combine this with a red green and it makes a full heal right there. It's, it makes me look all slick and stuff, but oh well. Now, now I have to look all normal, like I'm not slick. His, is it? Yeah, his head, his head should have exploded the first time. That was, that was definitely an explode type of situation. And this guy too. Hey, come, come over here. Come, come, come on, come on. Be, be a, be a pal. Be, a, be a buddy. Come on. There we go. And you're gonna recover those rounds immediately by grabbing these shotgun shells right here. Look at that. It's really nice. It's really nice how they do that for you. So we don't need that board because we don't need those anymore, but we do need this blue herb. We'll just be, since I didn't grab the red, uh, the green red mixture before I left out, um, we'll just be doing more mixing later. It's fine. It's not a, it's not a big deal at all. Um, but I'm going to also again assume that, man, you might have gone through as many herbs as I did. So those two that are sitting back there, you really need. Because maybe it's just going to get even tough, tougher. Well, we'll get them. We'll go ahead and do that. First, we're going to crown these guys. Whoa. Didn't expect that not to be a crown. That one was, though. And that's good enough for me. We'll deal with that guy again because we got to go back and forth. So, put up that, put up that, put up that, but not the gear. Um, load up before the uh, tyrant. Um, I put up the shotgun, actually, usually, and the shotgun ammo because the gear takes up so much room. That gear, oops, that gear takes up so much room that I have to usually put all the rest of that stuff up. And then I get this, this key. I heard... That jerk, get back up. I thought I did. Oh, he's still awake. Yeah. He's definitely still alive. Just be careful around him. Didn't get to crown him, so... Let's, let's grab both of these and put them in the, put them in the box. I'm gonna run on his right side just in case he's, he's alive. He doesn't seem to be too alive. Seems to be good. So this is this is what I think. Um, yeah, my Matilda ammo, uh, the gear, and the clover key. Um, and I'll make I'll end up making a red green on the way. Um, <clears throat> you'll see the green that I passed up a few times. We're gonna finally use it. It's gonna be nice. So I'm not going to try any of the strategy, again, not a speed runner. I'm assuming you aren't either. Um, I'm not going to be trying any strategies of how to juke the uh, tyrant to gain you an extra few seconds here. Let's, let's do it the safe way. Grab this red herb, look down this hallway, and see that the, ty the tyrant is right there. He's nice and happy. He's, he, he loves your presence. He's, he's totally... <sighs> run to this corner over here and you can run around him. Actually, in fact, if you get close enough to him while you do it. Oh, not close enough. 
He'll take a swing and it'll slow him down. It'll be nice also. So we're going to grab that green herb that we've passed so many times. And we're going to go out the spade door. But we've passed that green herb enough times. And now we get to go out the spade door. Um... And we have to do something really weird. One, stick close to the rail on the left side so Marvin doesn't wake up. Because that's just ammo that doesn't need to be spent. Second, we need to duck into this hallway and duck right back out. There are two liquors that are right here. You can activate them and then make them go to their other default positions. So they should go away now, but just in case you're worried, walk it out. The default position though, he can leap over that stack of stuff. And why we boarded up that window? Because of him right there. But there's another zombie in the way. Oh, he's not usually there. Is that the zombie I kneecapped earlier? I am not used to another zombie right there. Which actually throws a monkey wrench in things. That's fine. The tyrant's gonna be after me, but... I... I'm... I'm kinda hesitant about how to deal with him. Eh, I don't need to be hesitant anymore. I'm gonna run my ass off. I'm pretty sure the tyrant's gonna stomp on him on accident, so... There's the tyrant! Hey there, big fella! What's going on? I'll just make sure I get to the right wall. A lot. Oh, come on, dude. Don't get me. He's usually not there, so... I, I'm not gonna consider that, like, a part of the normal run. That crawling guy? I have no idea where he came from. Um, I'm putting up the grenade and the clover key. Um, I'm gonna keep the heal on me. Maybe... Uh, yeah, I'll keep the heal on me. Why not? Just in case... Just in case. So again, stick to the side. Go up to the library. We got the jack for it. So he's still feasting. Which is great. It's great for me. And the tyrant isn't right on my ass. Another great thing for me. But if he were, I still would have time right now to move all three of these to the right once. And boom, it's finished. Now I can finally take this and it disturbs his eating. But I will never be coming back this way. See, he's up now. Oh, up and down that ladder disturbs him. I will never be coming back this way, so I don't need to worry about it. There's a zombie behind that pillar at the very end. Bank a hard right into the uh, gear room right over here. Yeah, see, he really wants your giblets. Just bank, just bank that really hard. I And I mean, like, be mashing X for me because it's a controller. But anyway, put the gear in, take the gear out. Shake it all about, do the hokey pokey. All right. Since we've got so many inventory spots open because I dropped off two things, um... There is definitely no problem in grabbing this. I dropped off things just to make sure. Uh, technically, I could do the puzzle that's up here with the space I've got and then get that, but I've got I've I've got like a rhythm of how I do things. If you're trying to s shave off seconds or minutes or whatnot, again, uh, this is the Everyman's Guide, and you know we're not trying to just shave off random seconds for the sake of it because of world records. Uh, if we're shaving off any time, it's for a very specific reason, and it's chunks of time we're trying to shave off, which is why we ended up killing everyone in the office across the way, that little storage room, because uh, we're going to make a bolt line, uh, beeline for that and uh, use that way to get back to down where we need to be. This. So... We've got both of these parts now. 
Now this zombie that chased me in here has a 50-50. Either he's still right outside the door or he went to the down the hallway to the left. Let's see where he is. All the way to the left. That's the that's where I wanted him. Get the herb. And uh just to be sure, kneecap that zombie. There we go. And then I unlock this. Go on through. And that's where my notes practically end for this right here. Um, I'm going to have to flip over to the notes that I carry for other stuff. Um, to find exactly. Now, you can get the bad luck of running into the tyrant about right now. It is completely possible because he does patrol when he can't find you. Um, if you get that bad luck, just run him around. You can even run to the balcony and try to juke him there. Do your best. Elliot, really? Come on, please. Oh. Well, I made his head explode. And I'd be getting the knife about right then, too. If I hadn't already. So what am I going to get out of this box here? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Well, we're going to be getting... Um, I'm going to be keeping... One herb on me. I'm gonna put that up. I'm gonna put that up. Um, and really, I'm I'm gonna get the electronic parts. Um, I, I'm gonna, no, I'm even gonna put that herb, herb up because if we screw up enough, uh, there's an herb waiting for us right outside of everything. So, uh, just the basics really is are, are what we're bringing right now. Um, and let's get that other electronic part. So, uh, both of our main weapons and their respective ammunitions, and the electronics parts. Now, we're about to run. The reason why I didn't mind. Um, oh. Ooh. 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 Flashbang. We need a, uh, we need, we need a flash grenade. We need one. And you'll see why once we actually get the electronics parts put together. So uh, that is that is vital, that is absolutely vital um, at this point. Now these dogs here, serpentine, bob and weave. If they don't see you when you come through, they won't go after you. One saw me. It's on. Yep. I'm not kidding about that bob and weave. Serpentine. You can get tagged once, it's fine. I didn't get tagged that time. Um, but if you get tagged, um, if you get put in danger, there's a first aid spray in here. If you just get put in caution after Ada comes along, um, you're moving fast enough to get away from the tyrant and there is a um, an herb outside. So, you know, got things covered. Um, I haven't done this puzzle many times. I, I haven't just done it a bajillion times. So. So get that. In the corner here is a first aid spray. What are they and... Every cell opens up. We're gonna yank this thing. You can kill all those zombies, and still th there will be zombies that come out the other side. Now, give me a break. He took a swing at me. Good. It slows him down. This is when I do this. Boom. And that zombie that I capped uh, in the head right there, that I crowned, he can he'll he's unexpectedly sometimes biting your ankle even with the flash. So that's a pretty clean run of all of that. Uh, makes up for the fact that uh, I've used some green herbs. I'm about to gain another one outside of here. So. So everything so far is 
uh, pretty clean as far as the run is concerned. Um, you can make her 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 ass can hurry up by running ahead. As soon as you start running, she'll start jogging. So just go for the kendo gun chop. She'll run. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. See, and finally, if you run, she'll go for the road. Road's out. Road's out. She has to open this for you. Looks like the only way. So, we're gonna start down. I've got water right here. Which is great. We're gonna start down the road of having... Two weapons that take up two spots. Because... What a mess. Time to get the part to the shotgun, and we do want this. Trust me, we want that. Grenade? Yes, please. Extra bulletes? I'll take them. And we're skipping possibly the saddest cutscene in this game. That is the saddest. That I. Oof. Part of the Umbrella Corporation. They're a pharmaceutical company. Secret. If you want to go watch my original playthrough of this, I teared up. It turns people into. Uh, that that hurt to watch. That explains the horrible things I've seen. So. We're running along, we're chugging along, uh, just to pause it and give you an idea, 50 minutes in. And that's why I'm looking for a so, not bad timing, right guys? We're, 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 we're aiming to get this done around, you know, two hours worth of time, right? Um, so not too bad at all. We've got a little bit of time before our next save, and this is where you... Have to make a, a pimp decision. The um, you gotta decide where your save is gonna be. And I suggest, if this is your first time going for hardcore like this, that it be the first recommendation, even if it takes more time. You're gonna have to do a lot more over and over, but you need to learn how to run the sewers. You absolutely need to know how to run the sewers. Um, because, honestly, it really would suck to save it right before the, um, Again? the Birkin fight that you have to fight him near the container, the crate, trying to get there, Chance. only to die to one of the, the sewer monsters that you need to really get used to, especially on hardcore. So, alligator, left, right, left. Just chain sides fast enough, please, between... Like, as in right now, change sides. He he is a little tiny bit faster in hardcore, maybe? I don't know. He looks like he wants your giblets, so. Slide down, immediately just aim and fire. If you didn't have a gun on you, this grenade would have done it. That's what the grenade there, uh, is there for, but we're just picking up the grenade, so. You on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. In the original game, if you didn't kill the alligator as one character, the other one ended up having to kill it. Um, as in, you could get past it and just put it down without exploding its head open. Just get up here. Then the other character would have to get a con uh, knock down the container and explode its head open. Come on, Ada. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. So we're about to play Ada's section. And oh boy, does hers get interesting now. They have uh, changed the placement of one zombie that makes it hard. I am not going to run it as if you're going to nail it so fast so that you'll get past the one zombie and you don't have to worry about her. Like that to who? <clears throat> Our military? We're, else's? we're gonna run it like normal human they don't beings. Sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. Your lies are far more dangerous, Bay. Stop lying to me. But that trench coat's about to be dra draped on me, so I'm, I'll, I'll forgive you. Alright, here we go. 
So everyone knows what happens there. Shots fired. Pew pew. But you can't hide. She has a cutscene to get her special weapon. It's secret weapon time. Oh, I'm sorry, her secret we weapon. She immediately corrected me. By the way, um, my dot and reticules uh, and all that stuff are green because in options you can change that. Um, in low light, green is the most visible color. In bright, bright light is only when red is best. Uh, white is simply because on most screens that are backlit, you can see just fine uh, a white dot in the middle of it and it's not too distracting but I want my green to be I to be drawn exactly to where I need to be aiming so you see I did all the switches before I dropped down and I don't need to have the gun on yet but I'm going to put pick up a few rounds right here because boy howdy it's okay to limp to the finish line on this one here's the deal He's right there. We're going to go in between these crates right here. The problem is that they made a female zombie come out from the corner. And she is not fun to deal with. She's already moving. See, if you pinpoint this, you can turn around really fast and not even have to deal with him. He's crawling for some reason. He doesn't do that usually. It means we can run really fast and knee kneecap him. Boom. He's stunned. It might take a few rounds sometimes, but you want him stunned. Now we gotta see, does the other zombie show up over here? He sure does. But, again, same tactic. We care about kneecaps, not headshots. Always been good at running in that. In that. So right when you're about halfway through this panel of stuff, you can easily get this and unlock it. Boom. Pull this down, aim yourself up high, you can't look up her skirt, so get that out of your mind, and then start running over here, walk and do it at the same time. You do it right, you'll jump through while the animation's going and you'll never have to even deal with the tyrant. Tyrant just not dealt with. So she's in high spirits with a clean dress, even though she's going through the sewers. Uh, it'll be mucked up soon, don't worry. I mean, how many people expect that they're gonna go into the sewers and stay clean? It's not, it's not, that's not feasible. Let's, let's, let's not joke it, let's not kid ourselves. So. She runs down, she gra grabs this band, and Annette, dick move. Bravo. Gonna burn me alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm gonna uh, after it. I don't have to pan to you for this part because if you've beaten the game or done the game at all, you've done this puzzle and gotten out before. So let me just go ahead and solve it. Just hit it, hit it fast and see if we can't get this done fast. At least fast enough to make it look like I've done this once or twice before. Alright, so. Through her part. And she did that all in high heels. Her, her, her stilettos, they're holding up pretty well to all this. So. She gets cornered. Where's Leon when you need him? Well, he kind of got shot, so he's got your trench coat draped. But he's coming for you, bae. Don't worry. Ada, where are you? So. We're going up that elevator immediately. No time to waste, actually. This is a part where, really, there's just no reason to waste any time. Just, there's some handgun rounds to your right here. Um, and... That's a pleasant smell. I'm serious, there's just no, no, no time to, no reason to waste any time here. Um, now here's the thing. There are shotgun shells to your left. 
hear the zombie? Hear that zombie? Did you hear him barely? Doesn't matter if you heard him or not. If you get these shotgun shells, you will activate the zombie uh, in the blue overalls. So be prepared that you got those shotgun shells knowing that one of them needs to go in that blue overall face. Um, if you don't get the shotgun shells, he stays pretty placated. But there he is. He's all he's all like, man, you really you messed with my shiz. And you're like, nah, bro, I wasn't doing anything. He's like, I can prove it. You're like, oh, gee, he can prove it. Um, this guy, so this guy right here, we can take care of one or two ways. <sighs> we can go ahead and kill him now with one shotgun shell to the face and make it so getting the rook piece is easier, which gives you a strategy that will not get you hurt. It's a guaranteed strategy to not get you hurt. And I think that's what I'm going to give you this time. There's another strategy, which is when you need to get the rook piece, you come up the elevator, you run as fast as possible to the rook, grab it, run back, and turn left when you get into the room. By the time the zombie in the room is getting up, uh, he'll be chasing after you and won't be able to catch up. Um, that has a risk to it, which is he can catch up to you he, if you're just a millisecond too late with it. Well, instead, we're going to go ahead and that to that zombie right there. We just need to get past this one, though, so. Kneecap him if it's not the last thing I do. Alright, so. We got a knife. And we're going to run into the same issue I've had before, which is... I'm going to want to be able to grab a powder, and I'm not going to have room for it. So we are have to grab it um, when we're clearing out some zomboids and doing some other things. Make sure you don't walk too far forward while you're doing it. So, um, And I'm going to grab this blue herb now. Because I can. I got a red, I think, stashed. I don't, I don't think I combine all of them, so... See... This powder, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you how to get in a few. Now, dealing with these guys, stay a little far further back. Hit him. And as he's popping up, pass by his left side. His gimpy little arm won't get you. There's one guy that breaks that rule. Uh, where his gimp, like, you, you need to pass by his right side. And we'll deal with that. Because I probably will get caught by one of them. Um, very rarely do I get past both of them. We're, we're going to carry a grenade for that exact reason, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, so. Where'd she go? So, SZF opens that locker, but that locker has magnum rounds in it. And we're not getting the magnum. This is where your pimp decision needs to come into play right now. You've got to make one. You gotta make one right now in this game. If we're an hour and one minute into it, um, I am going to say that you can be like an hour 15, even maybe an hour 20 and still pull this off as long as you fucking hustle your ass through the rest of it. You need to, you need to hustle, all right? But like an hour 10, that's, that's kind of what you're looking for. An hour, yeah, hour 15, I'll take that. We'll take that. We'll do that. But we've got a hard part. If you have never practiced the sewers on hardcore, if you don't have another save in hardcore where you're not trying to go for S+, plus, you need to save it now. Even if it means that you're going to need to fight Container Birkin a few times because you screw up, it just means you get better at the sewers. And trust me, we're not finished with the sewers. Even if the placement of one of the... Um, Blobbest things is different uh, for Claire. Claire, pretty much, they're they're stacked the same way for her A scenario, but for the B, they're both of them uh, for Leon and Claire. They're a little different. Either way, you got to learn how to run these parts of the sewers and get around these guys. If you know how to get around them, run this part already. And then save it, and then you can load it if you, uh, this Birkin kills you. Uh, the next boss that comes up. 
if but I'm telling you right now, this is this is a decision where you got to know whether you're good enough. And if you've done it on hardcore, they are different between hardcore and normal. So if you got a hardcore save practice what I'm about to do and then you don't have to save it here. But if you got to practice what I'm going to do right here, what you going to do to ha go practice it? You, you got to load that save, which means you got to stop what you're doing here, which means you're probably watching this to do it and that screws it up. Just go ahead and save it here. You're, you'll get better at the sewers for it. So, well, I'm going to toss some things in here real fast. Um, let me Let me find a red herb so I don't feel like this is like walking a lonely road. Here we go. Um, um, oh yeah, can get rid of both. Um, actually I can get rid of a lot of things, but the reason that I just so arbitrarily got rid of things like that is because I'm gonna save it right now. We're making the save. All right, with the save under our belt, now we're gonna go pretty bare bones into this real fast. Um, the thing that we need to do here is to go ahead, pull the switch. Um, we're going to be coming back with some supplies, which is, uh, perfect, perfectly fine that we have to do that. That's fine. Um, but I want to be able to give you guys the most, again, this isn't a speed run. This is, you want S plus and all the perks that come with it with like the infinite stuffs. So, um... We're, uh, the T-bar valve handle and the red herb on the left side. Uh, and then we are going for the safe over here. Combination is 2, 12, 8. And of all the things I'm going to give you combinations for, this one is the least feeling like it's cheating. Because it is written in chalk on the side of the safe. So, 2, 12, 8. And it finishes off your shotgun. Which is a really good thing. Because now you will crown zombies almost for sure every time. This guy, he can wake up. As long as he doesn't make a liar out of me. Just walk slowly. Grab your grab what you, you're here for. And just retrace your steps back. And all of a sudden now, you have you've you've saved some ammo. Look at you. A winner is you. Why did we keep the shotgun out then? Because we're gonna have to go put it up? Well, we need to take care of him. His friend who is being shy this time. Usually he comes around the corner and they're asleep on the job, uh, co-worker. Uh, make a shield healed out of this. We're gonna pull this lever, even though usually I wouldn't have to do that, but Again, the gunpowder. I want to get that gunpowder and just put it up. So, grenade. Want the grenade and do not overstep to get this gunpowder. Otherwise, you might activate the jerk in the tube down there. And you do not want to do that. So, we're going to go put some stuff away. And basically, we're going to put everything away but a grenade and a throwaway knife. Um... In fact, this is the time where I'd say even a heal, you don't need to because you're going to get a heal on the way. And as long as you do it the way I'm about to show you, you will use up the grenade probably, but you won't need the heal. And if you need the heal, it'll be on the way back. So you'll have another one on you. Um, we're going to put everything away except for the T-handle, Matilda, and the grenade. All right. Um, the knockback from this, from getting grabbed by this, the, the sewer monsters, uh, is enough to actually still be able to run past them. So it works out. Just remember, uh, go for the red light. The red light is the very end where the door that you need to get to, uh, for all the chest pieces and whatnot. So if them getting, gr if them grabbing you gets you disoriented, uh, go for that. If you really feel uncomfortable with going down here with only just one grenade, one sub weapon, then actually bring a knife with you also. Um, you can throw away one of your bad knives. I had a bad knife. I probably should have brought it just for the sake of showing you that I'm willing to throw them away. Uh, because I'm gonna leave it behind as a one-shot use. It's, it's literally a one-shot use. It's 
is torn up. It's a torn up knife. It's only going to work once. But, um, this is where the one exception comes in. Uh, their left arm is their weakest, so if you disturb them on the left, or disturb them and try to pass them on the left, usually you get by them. Um, <clears throat> we're about to find the exception to the rule, which is the one guy after this. So the rule for these guys, left, right, left. This first guy we're going to disturb on purpose, go by his left. The next guy, we are going to run like hell. And honestly, if I had a shield heal on right now, I know for a fact I would get by the, uh, the second one. He might grab me and use up the grenade. I need to reorientate myself toward the red light no matter what and not get in the corner on accident. The third one, stay on the left wall. So it's left, right, left. Um, don't get too close to him when you uh, jar him or he will actually knock you back. So see that? Not grabbed. Now I'm running like crazy trying to beat him to this right here. And he didn't grab me. That is amazing luck right there. But that's that's really how you want it to look like. That's actually how you want it to look like. That's how you want it to go. It just rarely goes exactly that way. Um And now we got a grenade for on the way back, which is is good. All right. So you just heard a guy hiss. That guy up on the I I don't know if it was outside. Uh, the guy that was mad, he might have gone underwater and despawned, which is a pain. Um, or, uh, we just heard the zombie make his presence known that is on the balcony right above us that's hanging out. He's like, hey dude, what's going on? Uh, that guy, he's about to fall down. You need to bust your ass up here. Grab the king. Jump down. Go through this before he gets up. Oh gosh. Well then. Again, another first that I have not done before, which is actually getting tagged by him through all of that. Um, never had that happen before, but first for everything. Because many times he's actually on the ground. He doesn't even get up to do any of that. Huh. I'm going to be ballsy. I don't want to use that shield heal. I'm going to gimp this shit out. And see if I can beat them out. If I can't, I have a grenade still on me. I would rather use the first aid. Because first aid doesn't come with a shield. So... You... Don't feel... Bad about having to use... If you want to use that heal and make sure that you get through this. It's fine. You'll have plenty. You will have plenty. I, I guarantee you I am lining you up to have enough... To pretty much stack these things at the back end of this game and through every boss fight. Every boss fight, you'll have plenty to have your shield up and be able to get pummeled. Every boss to come, I promise you, you'll have enough. All right, he is where he's supposed to be right now. You need him to come the rest of the way. Oh, shit. This could be bad. This could be really bad. So, we're looking at a worst case scenario. And he did reset. So, if you hear that sound of him going away, many times before you even jump down off that ledge, he is still right there on that ledge having just chased you. On that ledge, you can go ahead and fake him out. Uh, stay on the ledge, stay on the right side of it. He'll come chasing after you still. Wait for his head turns into spaghetti animation when he's starting to go underwater and you can jump off the ledge and run over where his body just disappeared when you run over his body even if he pops back up on you which he most certainly will if he does end up knocking into you he'll knock you in the correct direction and he won't grab you so as easy as that um when he completely resets you've got a 50 50 he either just reset to be on the right side with the other guy that's going to come charging at me, which I'm going to stay on the left side so he doesn't get me, or he's going to be in my way and use up my grenade. Um, it's a pain. With my luck right now, he is in my way. Absolutely is. He absolutely is in my way. And grenade time. All right, keep your eye. Try to keep your orientation with you. 
Now, left. Pass him on the left because of what's just going on. So. And I'm even so slow right now that this is the same thing. He needs to be able, you need to be able to pass this guy. So you stay on the edge and then he has his animation right there. And run past. But I'm gimping. Worked out. So, that's exactly why you have the grenade with you. He doesn't usually reset to being right there. That is not what he usually does. But, got through it. See, this is the exact reason why you might be paranoid enough to take a broken knife with you. Because you might want the reassurance that you're not going to get your ass handed to you. Um, I, on the other hand, need no reassurances because my ass doth almost always be in my hands anyway. So, why not? Um, we're gimping our way back over because I refuse to use that heal. And I'm going to use a first aid spray instead. Because, da gosh darn it, I really, I don't want to use it. Um, you can make room for yourself right now by doing exactly what I just did. Um, take your T-square, take your Matilda, uh, and we're going to go deal with the last part of it. I know I just banked uh, the pieces. Um... And that's simply because you will have now no excuse to pick up everything that's in the way. And if you decide to get the treatment key, uh, you now have enough space to use it. But that's to your discretion. You're going to see how much time I have left over. So if you really want the treatment pool key so you can get some extra rounds or some extra uh, powder or some extra this, that, and the other, you're going to see how much time you have left to be able to pull off things like that. Or, like, if you think you're going to go upstairs and go to the hiding place, yeah. You're going to see exactly how much time you've got left to do, be able to pull that kind of stuff off. It's not going to be much. I do not recommend it. In the slightest. Don't recommend it at all. Um, you don't need it. Especially with Leon. Um, he is given way too many ways to uh, practically like own this game hard. Um, so... But if you are going to go back upstairs, you must develop the hiding place film to be able to find the two hiding places. One of them gives you uh, 400 units of flamethrower fuel, and the other one gives you a part for, for Leon is for the Magnum, uh, which assumes you have the Magnum. Now we're going to try to use uh, the strategy that I just told you about, which is the safer one. We already killed the guy that's on the corner right there. So this guy is now getting up, and he's going to start banging on that door. Run by him just like we would any other time we've ever had someone bang on a door. See that? We've had people bang... The, starting off this game, we had someone bang on a door. What did we do? We ran right by him when they were busting their way out. So, is this guy where he's supposed to be? Come on. Come on. I need him to come on over here. And then... Go squiggly and run. Yep. Just like that. Run right over him. He spazzes on the right. You can actually go up that ledge on the right over there. He just keeps spazzing. As long as you stick to the left-hand side and immediately get up on the left-hand side. He, I don't know. He just turns into a wriggly mess over there. I don't I don't know what's his, his problem is something serious. Um, so now we're going to go into the Birkin fight. Which is where I have to actually go to more notes. Because, um, while I don't have right in front of me the exact layout for Leon, I have it for Claire. Um, and that Birkin fight is, um, oh, I do have, um, one version of it. Oh, gosh. I have so many versions of the fights. Um, I never started keeping really, really detailed, uh, notes until I realized that I was going to be doing this for you guys uh, like guides like this so like some of these notes just get lost and whatnot but uh, the second Birkin fight um, uh, he needs you to pretty much get him down and then you can set him on fire or knife him but I would I would say knife him first and then get him down again and set him on fire and then use the crane 
Uh, that's probably going to be your best bet. There's a knife down there and there's a flashbang. What are we going to take to go fight him? Uh, we're going to take... Um, I'm pretty sure... Let me go solve the puzzle first. Uh, before I start loading out. Um, and I can put the T-square away. So I believe off the top of my head that the puzzle is that we have a king followed by his queen, queen, a queen, and a pawn at the end. We should have the knight who is marked properly in the A scenario. Um, we have the rook next. Um, and finally, we have the bishop. That should open up the door for us. Bada ba boom. If you need help, there's the riddle on the door, which does change for the B scenarios. Um, uh, which, okay, I, I know Ada says we're almost there. Um, that whole riddle right there helps you solve it. So, what am I going to take on purpose with me to this fight? Oof, not the shotgun. That's That might be a surprise to some people, and not the T-square. Um, I'm taking the flamethrower. Um, so we're going to load out with uh, a few weird things probably to some people. Uh, we got a lot of handgun rounds and we're going to use them to pop his eyeballs. Um, we're going to take a first aid spray. Uh, we're going to get a shield heal on the way there. Um, while we're on the way there and getting that shield heal, um, we're going to take one of our flash grenades that we've got. Um... So that we have two ways to stun them in front of that crate, especially since if we have to do it twice. One hand grenade. Um, excuse me. And mm, blah, 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 blah. oh yeah, um, the sh uh, the knife down there. When you get down to the fighting platform, there's a knife that we're gonna use. We're gonna end up using that knife. I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna end up using that knife. In particular so basically the heal that we're getting on the way and the knife are the last two things that take up an inventory spot so you see Matilda pull up on handgun ammo uh, flamethrower um, uh, a first aid one grenade one flashbang um, and then we're gonna make a shield heal on the way down the stairs and all that jazz here's the thing this game really does encourage you to fight bosses with knives when they're weak um, let me say this. This is one of those bosses that you should do that and probably get decent with it at. Um, I believe it's one, two, and four to do this. Um, this boss can take, if you do no damage to him and you use only the crate, three times on hardcore using the crate to knock him off. If you do moderate damage twice, if you do it the way I'm going to do it, hopefully for you guys, which is knocking him to his knees twice before that crate comes and gets him. Um, once. The first time I knock him to his knees, I'm using the knife to swipe the fuck out of him. The second time he's on his knees, I will be using the flamethrower, having the crane arm coming, and if he gets back up and is uh, an issue, I'll use a flashbang. Um, if I have to do it twice... Then I have a second flashbang to keep him there when I knock him back down. So, I won't be doing it three times for sure. Run at this side of the gate, the left side. Run at it. Like, actually have your character running and get through it. Because he's right after you. As in, if you get this a little too slow, and I took, I took that corner wide, that could cost me. I took that corner wide, that could cost me. He might catch up to me and hit me. Nope. Got into the animation of uh, uh, getting down fast enough. So, we've got this. Grab that. Grab this. Got the grenade already equipped. And... Running. Already. Trying to do a few circles around him. Because I don't like the position I'm in. Well, he didn't like the position I was in either, so he shot me. Ooh, use that shield heal as soon as I get up. Alright, can I get his eyeball? Nope. Uh. 
see how that shield works so, so nicely. All right. And he's down on his knees. Which is exactly when we start using the knife. Then I can use the crane. Yeah, he'll swipe at you right after that too. Alright. So now we're gonna have to knock him back down. He doesn't like me. He lunged, which is really good. Really good for me. Um. Ow. Owie. Owie, 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 owie. Um. Ooh, put me in danger. That's cool. Woo, before he can swing and do that. Before he takes a swing, I wonder, what is he fighting for? Alright, can we get him down now? Ooh, didn't mean to get knocked back with that. Can I get his back eyeball? Can I get that eyeball? Can I get that eyeball? Yeah, there we go. Hit the crane. Now I got you. Don't don't die yourself trying to do this. There you go. Didn't do enough damage. I didn't I should have stayed with the flamethrower. I literally I literally didn't do enough damage by probably just a moment or two. Just a moment or two's worth of damage, and I didn't do enough. This is when we have to use uh, our flashbangs. Because. Oh, he put me in caution. And. Now he'll go over. Which is. He gets back up pretty fast with this. So now he'll be gone. There we go. Birkin's dead. It took me two tries. Oh well. But like I said, I'm not showing you how to do this the perfect way. I'm showing you how to do this the realistic, you're a human being, the how everybody could possibly do it. The everyman's guide. So, and that's not me being sexist, that's just, you know, the every, everybody's guide, it just doesn't have the same oh, ring to it, I'm sorry. Nice. Every man and or woman's guide. Nice. You not trying that? to, not trying to, anyway, I'm there. trying, not trying to put anything, you know what? Every now and then, being progressive puts us back a few steps. I am going to gimp with him because I feel like it. Um, and there's a, there's a, I could have gotten an herb right out of the crate and I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. Oh, now I couldn't beat her into the thing to pull the lever before she said anything. This may be a one way ride. Okay. So. This tram is bound for nest. Do not exit until the final They have their moment. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Um, you get this, which is cool. It's nice. It's a nice little bracelet. Um, and since we're going to go to the box anyway now, I'll go ahead and put up everything uh, that I won't be needing for right now, except for, guess what? My worst knife and the shotgun. Um... The worst knife and the shotgun, because I will get another knife while I'm doing what I'm doing. And um, since we just got hit, let's get one of these green herbs out. Let's uh, let's not gimp around. That's fun. That's fun. Not gimping. So this is the actual loadout I'll be using to go take care of the first part. I usually don't 
loaded out yet. Um, but um, since I gimped my way to the finish line with that uh, broken fight, Stand clear until the door it is what it is. Open. So what it do what it do. I'm not. I'm. I don't stand clears until the until the doors are fully open. Um. Okay. Bank this over here. You get some shotgun shells and I guess a map if you really need it. Now you got a full up shotgun, which is cool. Awesome, because you're gonna be getting some shells anyway while you're doing all this. So why not? But you need every slot that I just showed you. Before we go into this. Um, see that I've got like an hour or five minutes to be able to finish this game up, which is enough time. Uh, let me explain that when I go into this room, there's a very specific reason why no matter what, even if I choose not to get the grenade on the ground, which I'm going to get it, I need to bank right first if I want the handgun ammo and or just not to get bombarded by a female zombie. When you bank right to get the grenade, she starts lunging toward you and you can get the flamethrower fuel and handgun ammo off the table and get up to the ladder. If you don't bank her right, there's a chance that no matter what you do, she will actually catch up to you while you're trying to get to the ladder. So faking her out by going to the right no matter what when you go in this room is nice. So there's a grenade just sitting here, but that that zombie, was she not female this time? And they changed gender that fast? Oh, they're really progressive, they're gender neutral. All right. So there we go. And why did I get the flamethrower fuel? We are not finished with the flamethrower. Unlike Resident Evil 7 where I cursed its existence, in this game I actually bless it. It has my blessing. Also, knife. Still have the crappy one equipped because where this guy appears, sometimes it's usually right there. I know you didn't see it, but as long as the retic uh, reticle is actually covering, it doesn't matter if he's got his gun straight up. It really doesn't. Um, you still get it. So we've got the bracelet that we can combine here. And there's the regulator pump, which is why we have to now discard our worst knife. Um, the regulation pump for the uh, regu uh, regulator for valve for the flamethrower is right there. So... That was, again, a reassurance knife. Don't activate the one on the right right there. Don't let them come out into the hallway. Because the way I'm going to do it for you guys is that there's going to be a point here where if you're running out of time, you do not need to come back and get the extra inventory space package that's back there. It's only three minutes out of your time, but literally where I have you save it, the last two boss fights, you can do it with minimal supplies. As in, as in only for this walkthrough for you guys, am I going back to go get the thing? Um, if it were me playing it normally, the way I've done it on many live streams, I never go back for that one. But it does make it a little bit more convenient because you can carry another heal or two. And it's a, it's a level of security, I guess. Um, and you probably really don't want to die in this game. You pro you, it's probably... Probably really high on your list of things. Um, so, let's get in here and let's see what our new loadout is going to be. Because we've got a gunpowder that sits right on over here. And I can't even put it in because I've got so much junk in my trunk. Um, let's go ahead and put most of this up. Um,. I, I, I have to I have to be anal for like two seconds. I have to get the ke chemical fl flamethrower out and uh, attach this regulator pump so I don't forget later. And then I can reload it right now and it's good to go. And then I can put it back up. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it looks so pretty. Okay. What am I, what am I really loading out with before? Well, as Claire, I know what I do. Um... Um, I'm going to load out with this one as, um, the shotgun vanilla. Just a vanilla shotgun, uh, uh, and some, I'll take rounds with me. 
um, the wristband, um, and I'll end up getting the modulator. Um, and if you really want to feel secure, this is again a time where you can bring um, a, a decent knife because there are some. There's a strategy that I'm not going to use with you guys. Um, there's a strategy for killing liquors. We are not going to use it here. Um, because we have come way too far for me to try to teach, uh, like, them pro-level strats that can fail and I've screwed up on before. But when I don't, I feel like a boss. Um, the liquors that are going to be blocking our way in part of it, um, they are paying the ass. But you can actually just completely mess up their stees. Like, really, you can mess it up. Um, you can actually uh, stun lock one of them with a knife. The first one that pops down, if you run at him and you knife his head, it locks him into that. If you're in the kind of to the left side of the hallway, the second one lunges for you and will always miss and land right where you need him to so that when the first one's dying, the second one you can start knifing, and it's perfect. I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna just be quiet. Uh, F, lines, Tetris, Tetris F. That's how I remember that one. If I can remember the other one, it is uh, in over here, actually. I'm gonna just read it off of the thing. It's Tetris line, uh, P block. Tetris, little line, looks like P, big block. There we go. Again, code Z. If you go off to find them, you're not going to beat uh, S plus very easily. You're going to waste time. So it's not cheapening the experience. This is thinking that you've already played the game pretty thoroughly, um, and you're trying to get some unlocks, and they're just not, you know, unlocking for you. I combined that giant gunpowder, the large one right there, by the way, with the uh, uh, with the C gunpowder right there, and uh, made some shotgun shells. So, dispersal car cartridge. Start with the red and just keep moving left and circle around. So, red, green, and then start back on the right. Blue, red, green, and then start back on the right. Blue, red, green. Just make sure you start that whole process off with the red first. Red, green, and then blue, red, green, blue, red, green. And you've got this done. This puzzle is pretty easy um actually it's a it's a similar type pattern for um i believe it's red blue green red blue green red blue green for the uh uh the b playthroughs or something like that it's it's something similar of like it's a pattern that if if you just recognize a pattern you got it made there's usually a guy you got to shoot right there but apparently he didn't want to make an appearance so that's cool Love it when people that you want to show the crowd don't make an appearance, but the shotgun is on me for a reason, so. And there's a map in case you need a fucking map. Um. But again, we're not, I'm not checking maps often because there's a good reason. I, I don't need to. Um, I'm, I'm familiar enough with the game to not need to do that. Okay. So. It gives you shotgun shells right there. Why? Because you need to do this. That guy needs to go. That guy needs to go. And you see that guy? For sure that guy. He looks like a dick. Um. Also, herb combine. It's awesome. Um, this is where we're going to be using the not knife pro strat. We're going to just walk it out. They follow footsteps. So once you get close enough, like... It, see how it got his interest? So he's gonna start coming this way. Well, if I just keep my calm and keep walking and don't touch him, I walk right by it. Even the one on the ceiling was starting to come down because of the footsteps. It doesn't matter. It sure as hell does not matter. Now there's this guy and I don't want to see his face. There's one that's gonna drop down on the stairs and you know what? His face has to go also. Because I deem it so. Um, and then we're going to run into another chemical right here. And we can combine that with another large chemical, which puts shotgun shells right there. Combine those. And modulator. If you want 
There are handgun rounds in that closet. It costs you enough time that that zomboid right there could probably catch up with you. And if you noticed, we have enough gunpowder left over to make handgun rounds. Don't worry about those handgun rounds. Now, we have to use this modulator to restore power, freeze this cartridge, and other stuff. Either way, we now have to walk around walk, uh, liquors a lot. So we killed the zombies, now we've got these guys. And they probably are following me. We got Murph here. We're going to have Muff later, but we got Murph here. Um, examine it. And we've got the... There we go. That was pretty fast. Oh, was that OSS? Did I do... Did I... Did I do OSS instead of Murph? Yeah. Whoops. There we go. There you go. There's your Murph. Let's see where these liquors are immediately. Alright. They are crawling this way. So I'm gonna walk this way. You see how this whole stay staying calm thing? You see how that works? Um... And then I'm gonna walk toward. I have an empty space on me. I usually don't have an empty space, and I go toward. You saw me start going towards that bank over there. I will pull up the dreaded map, where in this map, um, there's the lounge. The server room has a box inside of it, and I go dump things because I'm so anal about collecting just about everything in this game that there's a gunpowder sitting right there, and without the spot open, I can't get that gunpowder. With a spot open, Who left the I'll, open? I'll, I'll just get this gunpowder. So now, we can freeze this solution. It'll be the final solution that we ever freeze. Cooling complete. Don't worry, I have lots more bad jokes. This is, this is about the point of time where... Uh, you should totally be like re being like man that guy his jokes so so on just On point I have to subscribe. Oh that bell ringing it boy. Howdy Can't get enough So I'm going to keep walking And Get in the server room don't run please don't run for the love of God, don't run. Alright. Not I'm not talking to you guys. I mean I mean I'm talking to you guys. Don't don't run. Don't run right there. Um What am I gonna bring with me on this? This is another time where I think I bring a bad knife with me. Um let's collect everything in the room and then I'll decide exactly what I do. Um because here's a good knife. Like I said, this game gives you a lot, like, you just open up this room, it's not for the liquors, it's maybe for, you can say for the plant people, maybe, that's a valid point, you could say that. Um, what I'm going to have to do now is deal with the plant people, and then deal with them a second time while the tyrant is chasing me. The shotgun usually gets rid of them, um, and puts them down hard and fast. So, I'm probably just gonna do a shotgun run with this. So... This is where I'm also going to say that keep a bad knife with you. I am keeping a bad knife with me. The worst one I've got. Not the infinite. Don't accidentally do that. That would suck. Um, this, this, is, this is a tricky one. Um, and this can ruin a run really fast. But... Ah, uh, just daggum. It's... It, it's, you know what, to be even more con conscious of what's going on with this, I am going to do something just that so you guys can see that you can, you know, always put stuff back up. Um, I'm going to bring a grenade just in case I get tagged twice by the vine people. And I'm going to bring um, a first aid spray. Because the only spot I need open is that there's a purple, fl uh, blue herb, purple flower. There's a blue herb, um, sitting near where I want to go. I want to grab that thing. Um, everything else can go suck it. Um, 
If I get grabbed twice, the grenade will blow the way open for me, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Wait, are you serious? What, what, is there, what is everyone doing in the positions that they are right now? Why, why, why are these the positions people are in? Okay, I'm not going to question it too much. That was just kind of a really weird setup. I wasn't going for the blue herb yet. I was just... It was just a really weird setup for all those guys to be in right there. You're about to be chased. Um, and this is another reason why the shotgun is going to be your friend right here. The shotgun is usually... 90% of the time is a not knockback whether you hit the bulbs or not. So... So you need to... Hoof it now. Are you kidding? Jesus. That never happens. What is happening? Oh crap. Crap. Will I make it? Yep, barely. Wow. That was a worst case scenario. That's what you guys just saw. That's worst case. That's what you don't want to see. And what is it? What is it? What is this guy doing? Oh, what the hell? The tyrant is after me. I need to move. I wasted a lot of ammo there. But. That is exactly why I'm showing you the, the ways that I'm going about it and why I'm do doing it. So, this is where you really have to make a choice. If you've been able to keep up with me and you're at an hour 39 like this, you have plenty of time to duck right and go and get an extra storage bag. In fact, um... You, oh yeah, I didn't combine the two. Um... You have plenty of time to do it. In fact, I've gone a little slow and got hit a few times. So you've seen me gimp around. You've seen me do a lot of things. Um, this is this is the point in time where I know, yeah, you need about 30 minutes to finish the game. Uh, to beat the final Birkin and to also um, beat a Super Tyrant and get out. So, um, you know, if you're at the two hour mark, maybe you don't go back and get this sack. Maybe you don't do that. Um... But this is your last chance to do it before the big fight. So I'm going to go do it because I've got enough time. Um, you guys see that my result is that I'm I'm way behind because an hour 55 is what I can do it in. Um, and I've actually got a corrupted recording of this where I did this walkthrough and I did it in an hour 59. So I've even gotten a little slower than the previous one that I did. But I think this one's... Actually, gonna be a little better, cause it's going to show that like me screwing up. That's a good thing. Um. Okay, there's a zombie by the way behind this door. Don't get surprised by it. A random zombie just appears. Um. Me screwing up is a good thing because now you can see proof that I'm not really worried. Uh, based on everything that I've collected. Oh, it's time for muff. Yes, we all want the muff. There we go. And put it in. There we go. And this is the sack we came for. There's a Mr. Raccoon that you can barely see its red pedestal uh, in that little sleeping pod container thing. And now we got extra spaces. Um, get out because that zombie is very alive that just rolled out of there. I think that might be Dr. Lee. And stay away from that green door because you still don't want those guys coming out after you. So. Now, if you don't have the time to spare to come and grab this, don't worry. The rest of the game is very doable without those two spots. You just need to, once you save it over there, you're going to have a few times of finagling your own inventory. Um, you're going to have to figure out exactly what you're going to want to do. And I'm going to show you what I would have carried if I didn't have the spots. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to fill those spots with. Um, this first fight is the one that matters the absolute least for those spots. This uh, this first Birkin and the last save that we're going to get. 
Uh, this first Birkin just doesn't matter. So, OSS. Um, um, I always forget OSS for some reason. Oh, I had it. There we go. It's because the left one is straight up and I'm not used to that. Um, I think Muff might have it straight up. I mean Murph. Anyway, since I got the thing, the extra pouch, uh, that's not required anymore. So we're going to get a shield over here. I said shield, not shield heal. Um, that's purposeful because the way I play this, I go in with a shield on. Um, and if I have a shield to spare without the full-on heal to go with it, I'll go ahead and use that. Um, I'll go ahead and use that first. So, by the way, Claire has been here first because Sherry's Pendant is in here. That's why it's easy for him to grab the vial. There's Claire, uh, Sherry's Pendant. And you can see in Claire's playthrough that she picks up the, um, the, an the antidote for Sherry, but... Like the G the G virus is just sitting right there on the pedestal still. So that's a big gunpowder. This is now a shield herb, not a shield heal. And this is more shotgun rounds. We've got this as our last save. So I am gonna go ahead at an hour forty three, I'm gonna go ahead and use my last save here. We are on our last save, which should be perfectly fine. Uh, you should have gotten to this point and it should be, you should be good. Uh, the part that might, might be most annoying, uh, would be that if you died here in the lab with the vine people, because let me remind you, those vine people, you can only get away with them with the sub weapon. Um, if you die to them, you got to go back, do the sewers, beat crate Birkin, and then get back to the lab to start over. So that's. Learn, learn the sewers. Learn the sewers. All right, let's save it. All right, let's have some real talk here. What am I gonna take into this fight? What, what, what would I use? What would I actually use in this fight? Well, surprisingly enough, let me reload this. I would actually not use my handgun. And also, surprisingly enough, I am not lying about the fact that I would absolutely use this herb right now to give me a shield before I even get into the fight. So. Um, what I am going to use, and no matter how many spots I ever had, this is what I would take into this. Uh, chemical flamethrower. That's why you need the regulation valve. Uh, you need that. Um, and the shotgun. I want shotgun shells like crazy. Um, that, that is the thing. I also want a knife. Um, that knife is good enough, but I could do better. Um, I got enough good knives, and it gives you one more good knife before you even finish the game, so... Uh, we've got enough of those. This is when we can start crafting, guys. If you don't have all the shotgun shells you need for this, well, start having at it, because look at what we brought along with us. If you have been following me, you've got two large gunpowders and two high-grade yellow right there. Right there is enough to pretty much finish out the stack. And this, I can go ahead and start making some of that stuff. I can just throw it together real quick. Um... But this is what I'm talking about. A ammo, out of all the times that ammo should be a concern, uh, it's not a concern if you've been following with me. Now you've got four diff more times that you can just right here make more shotgun rounds, but just not in as much volume. And then one, two, three, four. You've got two more times you can make handgun rounds. You're going to have enough rounds to beat the game, I promise. So, let's talk about what I'd load out if uh, this were the only inventory I had. Um, I would take another shield heal. Um, which, again, I should probably finish off a few of them. Um, cause look, look, how, look how much I'm not finishing these things. Um, I'm just letting them be. Letting them live their lives, but I should put them together so you guys can see how many heals um, we actually brought along. Um, 
because it actually it adds up to be pretty pretty crazy because you think you're running so low so often um the game makes you feel like you're gonna always run low and you're supposed to but like i said one two three four five six seven eight you could have used up two or three of those and you'd be fine of having a shield up for you if you have to heal that's awesome so i would probably load out honestly with um uh grenades instead got a sack of grenades and use grenades that's what i'd uh do my loadout for if i only had these spots if i didn't go back with these two extra spots uh there is no reason why not to bring um uh, uh just a i guess a heal and um some more shotgun shells why not i i guess you can do that you if you really want to but really i'm not going to bring the heal i'm going to save the spot open so i can grab some stuff while i'm down there because i'm going to want the flash uh the flash bangs that are down there you'll see what i mean soon so i've got a shield on use the first aid first there's another first aid spray down there if you need it use the mixer when your shield runs out once you get hurt and uh there's another since there's another first aid down there you can pretty much get hurt use the first aid spray Get hurt again, use a shield heal. Get hurt again, use the other first aid spray. You should have a shield the whole time and not take as much damage. We are going to start off this party by shooting out the eyeballs. He leaves himself wide open at the beginning of the fight. Get the leg, try to get the shoulder, and then if you need to, wait for him to grab something off a wall and get his back. But I mean, like, he's wide open, like... He's asking for it. Like I said, those two right there. Uh oh. Uh uh. Nope. Hey, dude. Come on, grab something off a wall. Make this easy on me. There you go. See how easy that is? Oh no, there's fire surrounding him. That's bad. That's bad for me. But I can still knife him. I'm not in the fire. Good. Don't hit the front of him. If you hit the eyeballs, he'll get up faster. You can do more damage over time with that. So, you saw that I just used the knife? Yeah, we're going to be taking him down again with more uh, shotgun shells. Uh, but now, if he jumps towards you, you really desperately need to run toward him. Um, like that. You really... You really badly need to run toward him because it's going to take like something like your knife to get him off of you. And leg is open. Ah, oh, he hit me. He got hit in. Still got him down again. On your knees. Um, I'll use a first aid just because. But I'm willing to break this knife over this. All right. I broke the knife, I'm refilling the shotgun, and I'm setting him on fire. Burn, baby, burn, Disco Inferno. This... I, there's more flame flower fuel if you need it over there. Um, it's like, it's to my left and kind of back. I love the noir thing, anyway. Anyway, just try to keep him on fire and back up away from him at this point. See? Flamethrower is so nice, isn't it? It's so much nicer in this game than it ever was in Resident Evil 7. It is the bane of my existence when I try to do Ethan Must Die. I need it at the end, but I don't need it until the end. Ah, it doesn't like working with me. So, 
That shield that I had up lasted me the whole fight. There and there we have it. We don't have a magnum, so we don't need that. Um, we can grab some handgun rounds. Do I already have a stack of uh, flashbang sword? Yep. All right. So we're, we're immediately gonna max out on handgun rounds because we didn't use any during the fight. So um, is there anything over here? No. And there should be one more flashbang to my left and handgun rounds to my right. Um, this tops us off as how many we're going to be able to carry. Um, and flashbang. Flashbangs are going to be very important here very soon with the tyrant. Super tyrant, rather. So, yeah, I feel sorry for you, Annette, blah, blah, blah. All right. So, we are not going to do our final loadout quite yet. We're gonna wait till we're downstairs. Uh, simply because, at the moment, um, we need that wristband still, so no point of touching the box. There's Bay. She's been deceptive. She's still Bay. Alright, let's go. Escape the lab, and you see I've got an hour 52 on the clock. So, 10 minutes. And it does count it when you're in your inventory, even though it stops the clock for you here. Um, we've got... That was the last time we needed to use our bracelet to get through the doors to get to that, to get to Ada. So the bracelet is not needed anymore. So this is when we start talking about the bracelet's the first thing to go in the box. Um, we don't need it. Um, Shotgun and Matilda are going to be our go-tos for this. Uh, far away from the Super Tyrant, we need the, um, Matilda. Uh, close-up, we need the shotgun. Even not close-up, the shotgun. Flashbangs, we need those to stop the Super Tyrant. Or grenades, but grenades are not 100% to stop him. That is the one problem. Um, and since I didn't unload anything, uh, th here's a first aid. Um, and there's another knife I'm about to pass that I can't get. My god, I can't get another knife. Oh, dearie me. I'm not too worried about it. I could actually run back for it if I really wanted it. Like, I could run right backwards from where I came. So let's talk about what's actually going to come with me for the final fight. Not the flamethrower. Uh, not that bracelet. Um, if I were doing this, uh, for realsies without the actual two last spots... I would go ahead and grab uh, Matilda. Um, I would have 60 rounds to go. Um, I would fill up for sure um, to the to the to the absolute brim on uh, shotgun uh, ammo. So I'd have to make some at this point, um, which is crazy that I've actually used enough that I have to make some because I don't usually have to do that so I would and you have to have two spots open to finish the fight which is when it gets tricky I would favor the flash grenades and actually f use another shield heal about right now so what would my uh, what would my final setup for this look like something along the lines of this um, it honestly would I would hope for the best for not, and I would also do this uh, with so many shield heals, even to just to get to the end. I'd pop another one right now, and uh, just in case I get smacked or something unexpected happens, I have so many at the end. You gotta have two spaces for the uh, the vault charger plug thingy. So um, that's how I'd run it if I only had those spaces. Um, and you'll see that that's plenty actually to even get you to the bottom real quick. Now, the thing to know is that how much you damage the Super Tyrant is how many rocket launcher rockets it's going to take to, to kill him. So, it's completely dependent on how much you actually damage him. Um, oh, go down the ladder. Um... Booker DeWitt and Sebastian Cassianos uh, from uh, Bioshock Infinite and uh, and uh, The Evil Within, respectively. That's what Leon looks like. A mix between the two. 
Um, anyway, uh, the shotgun shells to get the plants out of the way. Now it's just a race. Blah, blah, blah. If you last one and a half, two minutes-ish, the rocket launcher will drop towards you no matter what you do at the very end. So it's going to happen. You're going to get the rocket launcher. If you do no damage to him, I think it takes like three blasts from the thing to drop him. Um, and see, now you have to pick up the plug. So if this were all you had, if this were your inventory, you see how all of a sudden you're kind of like set up. This is like, this is your setup. And I would, again, this is the last time I can go into it. Why not make one more um, uh, gunpowder or um, shotgun? Put that away. This would be it. This would be all I could carry with me, and I'd be fine with that. I could flash him when I need to. I have a shield heal on right now. Um, I've just got to survive so I can run around the blocks and whatnot. Um, I can keep him at bay, and that's good enough. Because I got the extra spots, what will I put in there? Uh, I immediately will put in another heal. Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that I survive it. Um, and grenades. Uh, I'm gonna chuck some grenades at his ass. Uh, so. And that's actually what I'm gonna put on until he does his charge attack. When he does his charge attack thing, it is it is serious. Um, it is a one-hit kill. If you do not stop him, that's why the flashbangs are there. If you do not stop him when he is charging, um, he will kill you. So, you gotta... You gotta remember that he is not joking around when he makes that one roar and Leon even mentions, uh oh, I better get ready. You've gotta do something to knock him back. Um. And he hit me again. Which is exactly when I would use one of these. Exactly also when I would use the debris in the way. Uh, add to guard me against him. By the way, the debris can hit you. Don't get too close to it. See, it does stun him sometimes. And he's about to do the roar. I saw the lead up to it. That's what I want. Right there. That's a one hit kill if he lands that. So we've got we've got the basics down here. Oh, that leaping attack is the easiest one to avoid from him, and I didn't avoid it. That's like a, a simple one to avoid. You just run past him, and I was too busy shooting. So, rocket launcher. Let's see how many shots it takes to kill him. How, how, how good did I do with the damage that I did? Uh, you start in the middle, and he did the straight jab, so I don't think I'll get hit. I got hit. Good thing I got another heal on me. Uh, but I could still get him to the finish line like this. Nope, took two. Didn't do enough damage to just do one. Uh, take one hit. Still took two from the rocket launcher. And as you saw, I was in danger. But I would have gimped to the finish line. Because... Without that heal, I'd still be in danger. But this is all you gotta worry about at the very end. I would be gimpy. But one rocket launcher blast later, and I, I'd gimp across it, but I'd be there. So, I'm not breaking my own record for the game, for sure. I'm not doing that. And, oh god, you play the other, the, the B scenario and you'll, you'll see the true ending. I'm not breaking any records, but here we go. My total time when it cut out some of the cutscenes that I actually didn't skip through fast enough. On Hardcore, 2 hours, 
Two solid hours, 11 seconds. Three saves, S+. Plus. Done. Like I said, two hours and 30 minutes is what you need to do. That's 30 minutes I had extra. So if you feel like it got a little rushed in some places or you need to double back because of a healing item or something like that, if you, if you ma match me step for step, uh, you still had 30 minutes extra to be able to figure stuff out, which means for sure you had an extra few minutes to go off and grab uh, that pack to make it a little easier uh, to get your inventory uh, bigger. Um, it didn't take me that long to get over there and grab it anyway. So um, that's that's what I, the best I can do for you guys. The Everyman's Guide to Getting Your S Plus as Leon S. Kennedy on his A run, uh, on his him being played first. So what would that unlock you one more time? Well, that unlocks you uh, the if you've never gotten uh, S on standard or hardcore, um, that would unlock you the Samurai Edge handgun unlimited ammo, the uh, submachine gun unlimited ammo for hardcore S and S plus for Leon. That gets you the rocket launcher uh, unlimited ammo, which is OP as hell. So. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you followed it through all the way, please do subscribe. I do do serious videos, even though I said doo-doo right then. I do serious videos. Uh, you can check out The Last of Us, which people uh, have made a big deal on my channel about when they watch it and they comment. You can go see the comments for yourself, uh, if that helps out. Um, Hellblade, uh, Life is Strange, um, ju just some other games where I, I d dive deep into stories and whatnot. Uh, I don't let lore pass me by Abzu. Uh, that Someone just watched that and I saw a comment for it. And I beat Resident Evil 7 into the ground. So you can watch me just casually beat Ethan Must Die whenever I really want to. But this is not the last of these guides. If you would like to have exactly what I've got here, which is S plus across the board. So we have to be able to show one more time S plus across the board with all characters. Then you're going to have three other guys that you have to come and watch. Leon's second run is similar, but he's got a pistol now that the ammo you pick up for it, uh, you're not upgrading it. It's not going to take up more inventory spots. It is a 45 ACP. It's a 1911 that he ends up picking up. That actually helps out tremendously um, because you can craft ammo for the Matilda that he still is equipped with, but you'll find plenty of ammo for... The S run. So starting the S run is the hardest part of it, but um, there's so similar on the back end that that's probably the next one you'd be easiest to do. But it's probably not the next one you want to do because to get all of your unlocks, to get the final unlock, which is getting an S plus on Claire, either her main or being second, that gets you the unlimited uh, Gatling gun. Uh, you're probably going to want to skip over to Claire, which means that maybe you'll skip on over to that. Either way, I'll have that guide ready for you to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you back here for the next whatever it is I do, whether it be a guide, a walkthrough, a playthrough, or a live stream. Hope to see you back here for that really, really soon. Bye!